Hello, welcome to this week's devotional. Um, you might want to use this guide in your own personal time with God this week or with your life group or in at your household and with friends. Um, and this week we're going to be digging deeper into Exodus 33 and also Ephesians 2 to look at God's presence in our life and how this changes and shapes us. So in Exodus 33, we saw how Moses pleads for God's presence to be with him and the Israelites, telling God that he won't go on to the promised land unless God goes with him. God grants Moses this desire and in and in his presence, Moses is able to know God as a friend. Um, he's able to know rest and he knows that it's the vital thing that will set him and the Israelites apart from all other people. And the wonderful truth for us is that in Jesus, we too can know the presence of God in our lives in this way. There are many signs pointing to Jesus all throughout Exodus 33. You might want to spend some time in your personal time with God or with the people you live with, um, or as a life group, looking at the hints and signs that point to Jesus in this passage. And one of those hints is about Moses meeting God in the tent. Where Moses was able to meet with God in a tent, Jesus comes and dwells with us, as it says in John 1.14. And the Greek word used in this passage for dwell also means tabernacled or pitched in a tent, pitched up a tent. In Jesus, God came and pitched his tent and dwelt among us. Jesus then promised the Holy Spirit so that all who put their faith in him can know God's presence in them. So now with the Holy Spirit in us, we are the tent where God's presence dwells. I love what it says in Ephesians 2 about this um, from verse 13. It says, but now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. And then later on from verse 19, it says, consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets of Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him too, you are being built together to become a dwelling place in which God lives by his spirit. I really encourage you to have a read of this passage and all the various things we are promised here in Jesus. Maybe see if you can make a list of the wonderful promises. And as Ephesians 2 tells us, through Christ and his sacrifice, we have been brought near to God and into his presence. We are no longer strangers to God, but welcomed into his house. And even more, we are being built as the dwelling place of God, as God lives in us by his Holy Spirit. I really love um, how Paul describes here that we are being built. So that's a process of shaping, moulding and transformation. With the Holy Spirit in us, we are being shaped and transformed and God's presence is changing us. I wonder, how have you been shaped by God's presence in your life? How has the Holy Spirit changed you? Where can you see the fruits of the spirit in your life? That's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness and self-control. The wonderful truth is wherever we feel like we are in our walk with God, he continuously invites us into his presence to come and be changed. And we are also called to do this together. In Ephesians 2, Paul describes that we are being built together as one body, as the church. Um, I love this quote from um, a guy called J. Ryan Lister, who has written a book called The Presence of God, which says, Jesus saves not just a person, but a people who through the work of the presence of God in the spirit reflect Yahweh's own character, glory and presence to the world. The identity of the church, therefore, has always been tied to God's presence. We are the people saved by God and marked out for God. I wonder, where will you go being marked out for God this week? Where will you take the presence of God with you? Spend some time praying and being filled with the Holy Spirit and pray for the presence of God to be with you and with us in our Sunday meetings, church gatherings, life groups, workplaces, homes, schools, friendship groups. Come and be in his wonderful presence and be transformed as he dwells in you through the Holy Spirit. God bless you.